Kenya is set to launch its first Earth observation satellite into space this Easter after 24 months of development by Kenyan engineers under the Kenya Space Agency. The satellite, dubbed Taifa-1, will provide precise and timely Earth observation satellite data that will support decision-making in agriculture and food security, mapping forests and general environmental monitoring. And as Mashirima Kapombe reports, the launch is a milestone for Kenya's space programs. The journey towards Kenya having its own constellation of Earth observation satellite is set with the anticipated launch of Taifa 1, Kenya's first operational Earth observation satellite. What uh, do we mean by uh, Earth observation? It's uh, like taking a selfie from space. So basically, we have um, the satellites looking down on Earth and then taking imagery. Then you can download those imagery through ground stations. The satellite, a first of its kind in the country, will be launched aboard Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Base, California, in the U.S. on Easter Monday. And we all know that space finds application in virtually all aspects of human endeavor. If you are talking transportation, if you are talking TV and broadcasting, if you are talking broadband communications, navigation and positioning, weather forecasting. The satellite that was designed and developed by a team of Kenyan engineers is expected to spur the growth of satellite development capabilities of Kenya's space economy. We have a number of public sector players who are utilizing space services in one way or another. So, for example, uh, the scientists would want to see development of the space sector to support their uh, research and uh, studying of possibly the, uh, the outer space environment. The defense on the other side would be looking at it from the perspective of intelligence, info, uh, gathering info, uh, intelligence uh, as a force enabler multiplier or as uh, also to get strategic advantage over other competitors. Kenya, like many African countries, currently relies on foreign satellite images, which has limitations. So far, all the satellite imagery we use in the country is foreign, and it is not cheap as it comes. The ones that are free are not very high resolution. The satellite will be able to take satellite images for Kenya by July this year when the ground station where the images are processed for use will be commissioned. It is currently under construction in Kasarani. Kenyans will be able to watch the launch of the satellite into space through a live link on the SpaceX website. Taifa 1 will be in use for three years. Mashirima, Kapombe.